what is it about these New Jersey college teams? First, Fairleigh Dickinson, now Princeton. March Madness is madder than ever. So early in the season here at the Gaff Sports Bar on the Upper East Side. Many of these basketball fans came here rooting and betting on 10th seeded Missouri, never expecting the 15th seeded Princeton and Ivy League school to reach the Sweet 16. And the score wasn't even that close, 78 to 63, as Joe just told us all about. Those watching this March Madness game had their own theories about why Princeton won. Anybody can win. Anybody can win. I think it's. I think a big thing is like the uh, the transfer portal. Any player can go anywhere now. Doesn't stop them from going anywhere. So they're just doing it. So you get some good players in different colleges. Princeton, though, I don't know. It's different. It's different. They got a chance. They got a chance. They got a chance at what? Going to the Elite Eight. They're going to the Sweet 16 now. Moving on further. Making a lot of people mad, I will tell you that. People are losing money on them. FanDuel is the worst thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so you were betting on who? Missouri. And you I lost picked, big time. I picked the wrong Tigers, basically. I watched the game, and to be honest, I didn't think Princeton had a chance. But, you know, the Tigers, uh, they came out and they played a great game, and they were amazing. Uh, I think it's probably one of the biggest upsets of the tournament so far. And they're still excited about Princeton's big win. Now, if Princeton makes it to the Elite Eight, it will be the first time since 1965 when Bill Bradley was the star.